Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be a fun DIY type of video using the new Shake and Shot Rubber Hydro Gel Mask. It looks so cool. I've heard about these. I've seen them all over Instagram. Everyone's talking about it. It's like the new thing. It's so exciting. It's just like, why go pick up a mask that's already made and put it on your face when you can have a fun little DIY activity with it. So I figured this would be awesome to try out for you guys. Let you guys know what I thought of it because this is what it looks like. It has this little guy over here with a straw coming out of his mouth. But I thought that this was pretty cool. It literally looks like a drink. Um, I got the instant hydration boost one I, just because like my skin is dry and then it said that this is the mask that's supposed to help with dry skin obviously and also supposed to help with redness and fine lines and wrinkles so I was pretty interested to try it. So before I get into this video I'm going to read you guys what it says about the product so you guys are aware and then we'll get straight into making it which You'll see because I'll be making it with you guys. So basically it says that on Sephora, you can find this at Sephora guys, by the way. Um, basically what it says on their website is that this mask is a fun DIY rubbery modeling mask that infuses skin with potent act actives to smooth for a healthy, dewy looking complexion. And it's solutions for, as I said to you guys before, dryness, redness, and fine lines and wrinkles. And this Hydro Mask moisturizes and revitalizes the complexion with a cocktail of vitamin B5. Who even knew? And Expert Moist Complex, which is rich in amino acids to help strengthen skin's moisture barrier. Just shake it up and give skin a hydrating shot. Let's be real, guys. When we read these descriptions, I feel like I only understand half the words. And the other half, I'm just like, eh, the first half sounded good. Might as well just purchase it and we'll see what happens. That's pretty much how I purchase things. I have no idea why, it's just my thing. But what I did, like what did catch my attention is that it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates, or I don't even know, phthalates. I don't know, but with no sulfates and no parabens, I know that I'll be okay with my skin. There's nothing going to affect it, so. And did you guys know that this these masks are literally used in Korean spas? Like, they must be good. So it runs for about $12. Fairly, I guess it's a fair price considering that you're making your own mask and they have to give you all the ingredients and stuff. So let's see if it's worth it. So it says that you can keep this mask on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then it's like a peel off. Pretty cool. So there we go, I guess. <laughs> to just take the packets, pour it in the cup, shake it up, and then use the spatula. That sounds fairly easy, guys. I thought this was going to be much more complicated, and I was really afraid for that reason, so let's see. I'm so scared I'm going to spill something. Oh, it's dermatologist tested too, so... I really hope that this doesn't break me out. I'm really sensitive skin. So I'm testing it for you guys with sensitive skin out there too. I'm low key nervous, guys. Low key. It smells good. I don't know what it smells like, it just smells good. what's coming out a bunch of glob it looks like Elmer's glue or like crushed glue stick if that makes sense that's exactly what it looks like all right next one this is all liquidy oh so this is where all the vitamins come in it says it's a water botanical complex with vitamin b5 as it said let's just pray I don't spill this
jasmine perfume. I feel like I'm back in like high school again doing science experiments. Put this right here like this, close it. And then make sure to put your finger right here on this spot so the mask doesn't come out and make a mess everywhere. Now it just says to shake it. So let's shake. Oh, as you're shaking it, you start to feel that it gets harder and look, you don't hear that water anymore. That's crazy. Wow, guys, look. Look, it got like thicker around, even on the cab. How crazy. I'm so nervous. I Please don't bring me here. Please, 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 please. I'm leaving tomorrow for vacation. I'm going to Europe and I really don't want to break out. So now we just apply this and I'm leaving for 15 to 20 minutes, I guess. And it just dries up and you just peel it off. So let's see. with it because it's getting it gets dry I feel like it gets rubbery really easily like it, ha it feel you can definitely feel like it's the hydro gel type of thing like it's not like a regular mask where you know it just dries and you wash it off with water it does not feel like that it feels like legit rubber like I really don't know how else to explain it to you guys like I just think rubber justifies the meaning we just sit and wait for 15 to 20 minutes and I'll check back in with you guys just wanted to let you guys know it didn't use up a lot of the product like I feel like a little goes a long way with this like you can really spread it out this could probably be used maybe twice or three times at most and that's it so you're technically getting your money's worth for $12 so I think it's definitely worth it as of right now we'll see what it's like when I take the mask off so nervous but we'll see so i'll be back in 15 minutes and i'll let you guys know what exactly happens hey guys so it's only been seven minutes but i feel like it's so important to announce that right now it feels really itchy like right here and it's starting to like move a little bit it doesn't feel tight or anything but it feels really cold and a little bit i'm getting a burning sensation so I'm really nervous as to taking this mask off, so I guess I'll check in another five minutes and we'll see what happens. Guys, I cannot wait up to like the 15 minute mark. My face is burning and I have no idea why. I know I have sensitive skin, but it's just burning. So I really want to take this off before like something really happens. However, it does peel off and it's like a gel. Like, it looks so weird and gross, but kind of cool at the same time. I I really felt that burning. I mean, my skin is not as red, but I don't think you need to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. I think 10 minutes works just fine. It's just hanging. I know, so weird. Yes, that's my sister filming me right now. Yeah, I don't think you need to keep this on for more than 10 minutes. I'm just not, because, like, I'm getting the rubber stuff in the sink. <laughs> Guys, don't do this in your sink, either. Like, it just gets stuck. Imagine that piece just took off some part of your eyebrow. That would be really bad. <laughs> I do not want it taking off my eyebrow. Alright guys, final review now that it's off my face. The redness went a little down. I mean, it looked really red at first and then the redness went away. Luckily, 
my skin feels super hydrated. However, I couldn't deal with the burning sensation. I have no idea why it could be just like a mishap of like sensitive skin, my sensitive skin, but I was really nervous to keep it on for longer than 10 to 12 minutes. I don't think you need to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. I think that it becomes a gel anyway. I mean, you've seen in the video, like it's easy to pull off. So I don't think that it's hard to use or anything. And I definitely recommend washing your face with like lukewarm water. Not to Kind of feels revitalizing on your face. Like it just feels much easier and better on your skin. This shaken shot stuff is not for me. I probably would be scared to use it again just because of how I felt that burning sensation. However, it's probably different. It's obviously different for all skin types. For me, I'm just so extremely sensitive that it's really hard for me to even use a regular mask. That's why I stick to like my St. Ives products, my e.l.f. products. That's all I really pretty much use because I haven't I've been scared and I haven't really found another product that won't break me out. I do really like the hydration boost of this. I just didn't like the burning sensation and the itchiness and that's pretty much my review on this. Nothing bad or anything. I mean, everyone has different skin. It's just for me, it didn't work out. So if you guys decide to try this mask, let me know what how it worked for you guys and what you guys thought of it. I'm very open to hearing other people's opinions and I just want to know how it worked on you and let me know what kind of skin type you have as well. I'd like to see if it is better on oily skin or combo skin, combo skin, combination skin. Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Unfortunately, just a message to you guys, I am going, I, I will be away in Europe for two weeks, so I won't be able to post film anything. I will be filming over there and when I come back I will post everything for you guys on my channel so you guys can see all of my little adventures and everything about where I'm going in Europe. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys when I come back. Bye guys!